Today, I would like to talk to you about Multisim and a little bit about Altiboard. Multisim is a schematic capture and simulation program. While Altiboard will take the netlist from Multisim to make your circuit board. Let's go ahead and place a new component on the worksheet. First thing I want you to notice is there are three databases. The master database comes with Multisim and its family of parts. And the corporate database is a subset of the master database created by the electronic shop. Everything in the database will have a footprint that matches what we have in stock. This is so we can make a circuit board from the schematic. The footprints are listed here. Please note that in the bottom right hand corner there should be a URL to our online database. If you follow that link you will see a part description, manufacturer, manufacturer's part number, our catalog number, our cost and the quantity in stock. I would like to start with this test schematic to show you some of the interactive features from the master database. The switch can be activated by the spacebar and the value of the potentiometer will increase by pressing the A and decrease by pressing shift A. The LED is set to turn on at 5 milliamps. To show this, let's add a current probe and a voltage probe. Press run and watch the simulation. You should see the LED turn on at about 60 percent and the fuse will blow if the potentiometer is set at 100 percent. Let's go ahead and make a new drawing now. Go ahead and place a voltage divider on the page. One resistor from the master database and one from the corporate database. Please note that there is a black one and a blue one. Anything that is black is a virtual part with a spice model but no footprint and anything that is blue will have a spice model and a footprint. In order to run a simulation you have to include power, ground, and a signal source. If you double click on each icon, the instrument will open up. Go ahead and click the run button. You'll be able to change things like the frequency of the function generator and the time base and trigger points of the oscilloscope. One of the more interesting things about this particular product is that you can run a simulation and add in real world signals by using National Instruments DAC modules. That however is beyond the scope of this discussion. If you need some help with basic circuits like a 555 timer or an op-amp circuit, you can go to the Tools menu, then Circuit Wizard, and select the type of circuit you want to make with its parameters. If you want to make a custom part, go to Tools, Component Wizard, and enter the component's name and function. If it is just a SPICE model, select Simulation Only, then add the number of pins, select or edit the schematic symbol, select a footprint if needed, map the pins to the model, and then assign it to your user database. If you cannot find a footprint from the database that fits your needs, don't try to edit one here. I find it easier to do that in AltiBoard first and then come back to this process later. I'll show you that in our next series. The very last thing I would like to show you are templates. 
Templates are predefined files that represent real-world hardware like Arduino microprocessors. These are available from National Instruments or from the electronic shop. If you open up a template, both multi-SIM and ultiboard will open. First thing is to save each file under a different name so you don't overwrite your template. Go ahead and close the ultiboard file for now. Let's go ahead and add two resistors, one from the master database and one from the corporate database. Now wire them in series from 5 volts to ground. Now we want to measure the voltage using analog zero input on the Arduino. So we need to go to place, connector, on page connector, and select A0 from the list. Save your work and do a transfer, forward, annotate to ulti board 14 or 13 depending upon your file version. This will bring your new parts into the ulti board file without changing the existing parts in ulti board. This concludes part one. Thank you.